In this video, I'll show you how I created this render and my full process and some tips and tricks. This animation's creation began with this video. I was really impressed with how sharp the video is and I really like the lighting. And I wanted to see if I can recreate it in 3D. And in the comments, many people thought she was computer generated. So I wanted to make a computer generated version of it. I created this character in a program called Character Creator by Reillusion. Now, I'm using a few individual sold packs here. Reillusion is really tricky when you're buying something from them. It is usually a lot cheaper when you buy them in a bundle. Try to see if they have a bundle. I use the Scan Reality Pro character as the base. You can find these characters in the content store. This is a scanned character and that's what makes them so realistic. But if you want to use your own scans, I also made a video about that. How you can turn yourself into a 3D character like this that's fully rigged. I took this Scan Reality Pro Petra character and moved some sliders around. I tried to get a closer look to the original video and also tried to copy the hair that looks similar. In the first part of the animation, I used Digital Soul to get the eye movements and the facial expressions and then for the second part in iClone 8 Melis acted out the parts. I later merged these two shape key animations together in Blender. I exported the character to Blender with 4k textures. In Blender using CC Tools add-on I imported the character in. The problem with this add-on is at least in the version I'm using the eyes always come in wrong. Go into character build settings, choose basic, only selected and rebuild basic materials. This fixes the eyes. Now back to the video. I took a screenshot of the video and I zoomed into her eyes and try to see the lighting setup. We can clearly see that one side has a reddish pinkish light and the other side has a bluish colder light. But what are the other lights in this scene? Looking at reflective surfaces in the shots might help us understand the lighting setup. And I would really recommend going into movies and try to break down their lighting, try to copy them. And this will give you a new understanding of lighting and lighting setups. And this will take your shots to be more cinematic. I try to copy the lighting and the camera angle placing the lights, playing around with the intensity placement. On film sets, flags like these are used to further control and shape the light. We can create our own flags inside Blender by using planes with a dark material, roughness all the way up and specular set to zero. By unchecking camera visibility under the object properties, we can hide these flags inside our shots to make the light fall off look more gradual. We can mix between principled and transparent shaders by using a gradient texture as the mix factor. Color ramp can be used for better control of the falloff. Once I got to a place I was happy with the image, I did some tricks. First one was to reuse the texture as a bump map. You can do this to get extra detail out of your textures as long as you keep these values low. It should work nicely. Second thing was to play around with the eyes, changing the specular and roughness settings to get them more reflective and wet. For the transition effect I'm using a custom gradient node to switch between her original textures and a Kitbash 3D metal texture. I customized the metal texture a little bit further by using a noise texture and added that bump detail into the original texture. And to get this Kitbash 3D texture I used Cargo. This is their entire asset library and it's a free app you can buy a subscription to get all the access, but they have a bunch of free textures and free models. So download it and get everything free, I'd say. I'm only using the normal map and the roughness map from those textures to get this detail. A color ramp with colors are used to create the colors. And this empty controls the mix factor between two textures. Same with the eyes. And if you wish to create this gradient texture, you can copy this setup or you can watch my dedicated tutorial about this. By typing 200 here, I doubled the 1080 resolution, turning this render into a 4K. This is same as writing times 2 here. Or you can write 200 here. Inside Premiere Pro, I color graded the final render and added just a little bit of sharpen. I wasn't able to post the video as 4K, so I downscaled it to 1080 and posted that version. This was a quick process breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something from it and I hope it inspired you to test out some new lighting setups. Good night.